confidence. The transfer from Arkansas coming in and trying to do what a previous transfer, Nick King, was able to do for Middle Tennessee a couple years back and leading them to the NCAA tournament. How about the range for the so Justin Moore having a very good afternoon as well. And when I say old man game, I don't mean to imply that they don't have the explosive side to it as well. Because Villanova was slicing them up offensively when they were guarding the man to man. And Here we go. Gets his first basket. As they Taking away a point from Villanova. The foot was actually on the line. I believe that was the Samuels three. Off of the chest pass. That's what it was. It was That's the chest was. pass that threw him off, put him in front of the three point line. Now, those. Here's Antoine for three. Well beyond the three point line. You know, Cosby Roundtree had a great start to the season last year. Most outstanding player, the Advocare Invitational, which Villanova won down in Orlando. But uh, he had a shin problem that festered throughout the year that required off-season surgery. And by the end of last year, he wasn't dunking. He wasn't making laps. He was having trouble with the shin that now apparently is 100%. You see still with a 30-plus point lead getting on the floor for Samuel. He still answers the test. Yeah. You know, and again, he that's just the way he is as a person. He's the same way he was before he won national championships, and he was regarded as, if not the best, one of the best college basketball coaches in the game today. You know, but he's still the same guy. All right, TV Ekino showing off that strength. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he, he, he's just a good guy. You know, I'm not a big shot by any stretch of the imagination. But I do appreciate the compliment from you. They don't come that often. What you say?